Hey guys, it's Bonks here, and today I'm going to let you guys know how to set up custom hotkeys in the game Dawn of War 3. Now for those of you familiar with my content, uh, in terms of this game, you should be familiar that I've been really enjoying the game since the closed beta. I played the open beta, and now I'm playing release, just having a hell of a lot of fun murdering other players, because you know I'm just really enjoying this old style sort of RTS game. I uh, haven't had too many complaints with it. The only major complaint I've had is this lack of customizable hotkeys. Fortunately, there is a workaround, which I've been using since the closed beta, so it hasn't been an issue for me for a while. Um, so what I do is I download this program called ATN Soft Key Manager. I know download an X program sounds annoying. Fortunately, this is super simple. Uh, I mean, for me, because I'm lazy as all hell, and I just it'd be a pain in the ass if I had to work around with a weird program. And, uh, so very easy. In the description below, there will be a link to this uh, their website where you can download this thing. You just install it and uh, set it up like it was, you know, a, a UI feature in your you know any game would normally come with customizable hotkeys. Uh, so let me just kind of quickly explain how it works. There are two versions of, and I'll run you through how you set things up just in case you can't figure it out, but uh, there are two versions of this program. There's a free version, there's a pay version. I use the free version myself, so it's not like you're hidden behind a paywall to make this work properly. I've seen, I've looked at some of the features in the pay version. I'm sure it's nice. Um, like some of them I, I wouldn't mind. For example, I'd like a few more hotkeys than they give me here. I can customize 10, which is more than enough for me. Uh, I use exactly 10, but you know, maybe I had one or two more would be nice, but again, I, I'm getting five fine perfectly by, or I'm getting by perfectly fine with the, uh, the free version. And I take sort of my PvP type stuff pretty seriously. Um, but you know, your results may vary with this. Cause I just basically, I wanted WSD camera controls and then the hotkeys mapped around that for abilities and whatnot. And then like one of the keys mapped to one of my mouse, uh, mouse hotkeys. So anyway, let me show you just quickly how it works here. I've used up my entire hotkey allotment so I can't, you know, add extra things. So normally you click, uh, you know, double click to add. So you'd add a thing in this profile here. And then what you do is would open up a menu like this. What you want this, uh, so basically you have to tell the program where it's going to switch hotkeys for basically. So like what's happening is you're basically telling, for example, if I press the W button, what I actually want to be pressed in the game or uh, according to how the game registers the key press is I want to be pressing the up button to move the camera. Um, now, to tell the program which program you want that to happen in, you just click this little thing here and you add an exception. I've already added it. So basically, I just typed in Dawn of War space III, so it'll only register in the Dawn of War 3 window. And, uh, or yeah, you type it right here. So I would add, like, yeah, Dawn of War 1, 2, 3, add, and it's going to add that as one of the, uh, the possible options where hotkeys work. So every time you want to set up a new hotkey, uh, this is the example here. So what I have is at this top part right here where it says W, I pressed W. So when I press W, I want it. So here's the field right here. If I, I set that to press, I clear, I press the up key on my keyboard. And, and now it's set up so that when I press W, I press up in Dawn of War. We'll move my camera on that way. And to make sure it only works in Dawn of War, I select here, apply in only in Dawn of War. Don't, don't select everywhere or, you know, some other thing. For example, I have Soulstorm. I use the same thing. Or I basically, I tested it in Soulstorm, Dawn of War 1. But, uh, yeah, only work in Dawn of War 3. And you're set up. You're good. Now, you can modify it with controls, and, like different keys, like control, all blah, blah, blah. I don't mess with that. That's fine. And then, as you can see, I set it up for WASD, ERTGF, and um, my mouse X button. So one of my mouse hotkeys. And it works perfectly fine for me. Uh, anything else we can go over here? Oh yeah, if you want to turn it off. Now this does come with a bit of limitation, obviously. Um, so I'm really hoping that uh, they do eventually add customizable hotkeys here. But um, it means it's difficult to type to other players. I don't care because I don't like talking to other people, really. Um, you, I, if I need to communicate with my team, I can get by with pings for the most part in-game. Um, but if you want to do that, you can just basically just uh, alt-tab back into this program here. And then either manually hit the pause button so you can type or hit just kind of a quick control P. So if you want to just think of it as another quick, you know, hotkey uh, sequence. So you go alt tab control P, whoops, I hit the wrong hotkey. So you hit alt tab control P, paused, alt tab back into the game, alt tab. So uh, yeah, there you have it. Like it's not 100% ideal. It does come with a minor number of problems or rather that minor problem there, but it's worked perfectly fine for me. I've been happy with the game. It's not enough to detract from my overall enjoyment of the game. And the fact that I have my customizable hotkeys 
for me personally it oh it just makes things much more enjoyable and i'm more than willing to live through the uh, the problems um but again like i said this is my one legitimate problem with the game lack of customizable hotkeys so hopefully that does get addressed in the future i don't know like it just seems to be a relic staple where they don't have customizable hotkeys i don't know why that is given that it's in all their games i'm imagining there's some sort of philosophy on their development part i don't know what it is I'm not a game developer i haven't asked them but here's your workaround if you're me and you want customizable hotkeys Anyway, see you guys around. Hope you guys enjoy the game as much as I have, and hopefully maybe even enjoy the game even more with customizable hotkeys. And as like I said, the link in the description below will uh, go to uh, the website where you can download this thing for free. Goodbye.